Hello, what's up, baristas and coffee lovers? It's me again, Mr. Alex, and uh, for today, I'm going to show you how you you will going to uh, set your espresso machine, especially on uh, Linea PD Lamorzoco, because that's what I have in here. So I'm going to teach you how to uh, set your settings, uh, temperature, uh, group dose, and everything. And I'm going to um, make or design a latte art that maybe could help you to practice your pattern. I'm going to sh show different patterns of uh, latte art. that uh, thank you very much for uh, the people who always uh, watch my vlogs and videos and to subscribe my channel thank you very much guys and of course don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you're updated of all of my videos for the people who are not yet uh, familiar on my channel this is the channel uh, which we talk about uh, coffee of course and life my life as a OFW or overseas Filipino worker so let's begin so the machine is this guys the espresso machine it's a Lamorzoco Linea PB uh, two groups and this is the grinders that we have I'm going to show you also how you will going to change the grind size uh, those and everything of this one um, some of the machine uh, it's all almost the same uh, only different uh, like uh, way how you're going to open the menu uh, but for linea PB uh, if for example you want to change your temperature right now the current uh, temperature is uh, 90 uh, 90 degrees Celsius so if you want to change that one just long press um, on the left side uh, right button left side of the group head and right button so you're just going to uh, long press then after that the settings will uh, show it says here uh, group those settings so don't mind that one first because we, uh, we're go just going to change the um, temperature so after you do that one this will be the enter so after we enter the menu just look for coffee boiler then press enter and you can see the temperature in here this is the current temperature that we have and then you can set it in here so what you're going to do is uh, um, enter and then after you enter just click up then you can see that you're adjusting the temperature so now it's already 91 92 so we'll just going to return it to 90 because that's the temperature that I set for today so okay then after you already uh, select your temperature then click enter then click up then exit so every settings that uh, you will going to find in here if for example um, you want to uh, pre-wet here pre-wet you can set it for example uh, it will go in just to pre-wet it for two seconds and then hold it for three seconds you can change this one whenever um, how you like it or it depends on your coffee as well and what else um, for example that you want to set the hot water or they call it tea settings 
for example you're going to click it then enable then program TDOS enter for example you want to program it with this cup so click You want to stop it on this, uh, then now uh, you finish already programming the EDOS. So try to exit, exit, and now it will be already set. Uh, now it's the same. So what else? Uh, group settings. It means with this two group head. For example, you want to set this. Just program those. Click it. Then after you program those, try to weigh it. So now it's zero, 0 grams. For example, you want it until For example, you want it until 46 or 49. 49 grams. Just for, this is only for example. And then now Let's exit. Exit. And let's weigh it. Now it's already set with the dose that we already. It's only a little bit difference. It's 50.9. So it's the idea of when you're calibrating. Because if you're calibrating, it depends on the grain size and everything. And it depends on the uh, seconds and dose of your uh, extracted uh, espresso. So after that, if you want to copy to every, uh, every button what you've calibrated so just another long press long press then click the group those settings and then find copy copy so enter and we're going to copy this one on here because I already calibrated this one so copy uh this side i'm going to copy it on this side so now this and this will be the same and if you want to exit just click this one find exit so okay and then now it's the same it's the same thing if you want to calibrate this one and you want to copy it on this one it's the same procedure so now let's try to check it so if you want to enable to warm it all the time in here just click enable now it's already enabled but I don't like it it's, it's already too hot so I'm just going to return it again cup warmer disabled pre-wet we already talked about that one Cup warmer, finish, exit, group those. Uh, that's the one uh, with copy and programming your group heads. So now we're just going to exit. Then that's it. It's up to you guys. Uh, by the way, if you want, uh, for example, you want to ch uh, clean it, uh, we're going to put a like close um, basket on the port portal filter and then you're going to click uh, you're going to 
put chemical in it and after you put it there just click this bowl uh, together so now this is a uh, automatic uh, buck flushing so it will just going to clean at the uh, stop and on on uh, seven times I think I'm not sure and for the grinder uh, this is a Victoria grinder um, if you want to uh, set the grams it will be in here for example click this one there's a minus and plus so if you want to reduce the dose or grams of your coffee then just reduce it on seconds if you want to add just click plus it's the same thing in here so it's uh, both the uh, same machine and if you want to uh, adjust your grind size um, clockwise it will be fine and counterclockwise just rotate that counterclockwise then it will be coarse uh, it depends on the calibration this is my calibration for today so it will be those uh, 21 grams of coffee yield this 28 grams of yield of coffee and then the ratio will be 1 is to 1.33 so it means in every 1 gram of coffee there's 1.33 grams of water and for our restrata for today is 20 grams on IC IC state it's uh, from Ethiopia so and now I'm going to show you uh, four of uh, some of my uh, pattern or latte art pattern that I used to make in a piccolo cup portado cup six ounce cup and eight ounce cup just going to split my shot because uh, I'm just going to use it for lacquer. on uh, cortado so first I'm going to make a Capricorn This is the first one. Now, I'm going to make on Piccolo.
new seahorse. Make sure that the temperature of your milk is only like around 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. The next one that I'm going to make is uh, head pops. So the last pattern that I'm going to make is a little bit uh, difficult because it's a combo. Uh, it's a combo of uh, seahorse, swan, and rabbit. It's the sears overall, the swan and the rabbit. The rabbit is a little bit blurry but that's what I'm trying to do. So, so that's it. Uh, this is the lot yard and um, so guys thank you for uh, watching. Uh, I hope for today you learned something about uh, how to set your uh, lemurs up for linear TV. That's it. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to click the notification bell so that you're updated of all of my videos. Thank you very much and God bless. Bye-bye.